right. Well, hey, today we hit 60 degrees. Can you believe that? Warmest day of the year so far. Normal is 48, so we are quite a bit above that. Feeling a little bit like spring, but not the record. The record for today is 69, and then the record low, five below. So that's a long ways off. That was way back in 1890. Sun setting earlier at 618. It rises at 704. The days continue to get a little bit longer, and with more sunshine, that gives us a better chance to warm those temperatures up too, especially in a weather pattern we're in right now. And temps got up to 60 in Salt Lake, 50s for the rest of the Wasatch Front. So we are the warm spot. In fact, not too far off even from St. George, where we topped out at 73 there. 46 right now. We're really close to our normal high for this time of the year, and we will see lows slowly fall tonight. Uh, but do not get too used to this weather. We have the winter weather returning over the weekend big time. In fact, winter weather advisors have been issued starting early, early Sunday morning uh, for northern Utah highlighted here. This goes until 4 a.m. Monday, and so we're going to be looking at accumulating snow uh, for our mountains. So notice the valleys are not included in this, none of the uh, I-15 corridor either. But that said, we still could see some accumulations. It could be slushier accumulations, but we could see accumulating snow uh, anywhere from one to three or four inches for our valleys. You get up into the mountains, and we're going to be talking anywhere from six to 14 inches, and also the wild Wasatch back uh, out towards Park City. We could see four to seven inches there. Heber City also. So skies right now are mainly cloudy. The next system is up in the Pacific Northwest already developing there, bringing in the, the rain and higher elevation snow. Uh, as far as the timing goes, again, showers look to arrive on Sunday. And then this is a quick look at our snow totals uh, when the system gets out of here. And you can see along the I-15 corridor, that lighter blue, uh, right around one to three inches. Pretty widespread for most of the I-15 corridor. And then you get up in elevation just a little bit and you see that jump to three to six inches and then of course in our mountains six to 12 inches but some of the higher elevations could certainly see uh, closer to 14 inches too here and there locally heavy spots. So your future cast uh, showing the timing of it all. Clouds tomorrow, nothing to worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will be cloudy and warm. And then by tomorrow night, this is at 8 p.m., you can see the chance for a little bit of rain uh, for parts of the Wasatch Front. But the snow is still holding off up towards Idaho and Nevada at this point. By Sunday morning, though, that snow is coming in. It continues to develop through the day. This is right in the middle of Sunday afternoon, and that's when the snow is very likely to be coming down all on the I-15 corridor, even down towards Cedar City, and then we'll even see some showers in the form of rain down towards St. George as we go through the day on Sunday. Sunday night, it lingers by Monday morning. Most of it starting to head across central and eastern Utah uh, as we clear things out to the north, but the cold will stay, and then we get towards Tuesday, and it was looking like for most of the week that another system was going to come in on Tuesday to bring in more showers, but now I think the forecast models have backed out on that solution and so we're just going to be looking at uh, more passing clouds than anything else but it could still stay a little chilly so the big day for the storm will be Sunday. Your forecast for tomorrow, temps in the 30s. We'll have cloudy skies, but we'll try to get into the 50s, right around 60 degrees tomorrow, 40s for the Wasatch back, and nearing 70 in St. George. Southern Utah watching for rain on Sunday. It turns cooler into the 50s, but then we warm things back up again. 70s next Friday in northern Utah. Temperatures will fall uh, by Sunday. We're back to 36 with that snow coming down, and then we're back to the 40s after that, and then the 50s return towards the end of next week.